where are all of my 1980s nostalgia people at? Because you're not going to want to miss this one. This is a big one. Don't go anywhere. Hey everybody, it's me, Scott Galaxy, for The Layman Video Gamer, and today I'm going to do something a little different. Usually, obviously, it's video games that you guys are getting from me uh, week in and week out. Uh, get a bunch of cool stuff in, as you uh, well know. And um, today's is, is also very cool, but it's not a video game. It's actually a little piece of nostalgia from my childhood. So if you're an 80s kid or a late 70s kid, you know exactly what this is. Um, when I pull it out, you're going to be like, of course. So um, let's go ahead and open it up and we'll talk about it. And then we'll just get a nice little blast from the past. Little childhood rewind. Now I will give you a little hint. You can't have just one. You have to have two. So keep that in mind as you're guessing as to what this is. Now, these I've been told are uh, in really fantastic shape. So... Let's hope. Oh boy. Uh, here you go. Can you see that? Here, how about this? Oh, let's move it this way. Boom. Laser tag. Are you kidding me? The Starlight is a sleek handheld energy system. When the trigger is depressed, a tiny red LED appears in the sight lens. Uh, so this uh, came out in, I believe it was, I want to say 1986. And this was big. Like, this was big. It was so big that now, it had its own animated series. Laser tag champion Jamie Jaron is the sole possessor of starlight power. Until the resurrection of a master criminal from the past, Draxon Greer. It had epic commercials. Ah. Oh. Laser tag. It's hotter than ever. Uh, you had epic fights with your neighborhood friends. You had uh, tons of... Uh, accessories that you can add on at you know it costs a lot of money this is this wasn't cheap um but you could add a bunch of stuff and uh really 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 get into it they had like uh i mean this is like a huge thing i can't even i can't overstate it enough um so let's just see what's in here this you know you can see the box is a little damaged on the top nothing too bad um because uh overall this is in fantastic uh condition so let's just make sure, let's look at the other one. Looks great. Same as the other one. Now you know why you have to have two. You can't play laser tag by yourself. You have to have a friend. Now the reason I like these, there was another, um, another laser tag type product out at the time called Photon. I did have that one as well, um, but laser tag was better and I'll tell you why. Uh, it really boils down to how cool it looked. Uh, Photon was kind of cool, but you had to have, I think it was connected by a wire, uh, so you couldn't really, like, it, well, you weren't as free. Let's put it that way. Free as laser tag. And the laser tag guns are so cool. Super cool. So, of course, it comes with, you know, a little pamphlet here. Kind of gives you an idea of, uh, well, here you go. This is the animated series. Boom. Look at that. Then it kind of gives you, uh, the game um you know what the rules are for a two-player game we have to read that uh so i can play with my wife here uh there's also another rules thing for another laser tag type game i mean they really did uh 
they did their R and D on this one, man. Now I had the hat. You can see this girl. She's wearing. She's wearing the hat. It was horrid. It was the worst fitting hat ever. Um, that was about the least cool thing about laser tag was the hat, and it was just so bad. It was so bad. If you've ever seen the series V that came out in the 80s, it looked a lot like V. If you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. So let's open this up. So look, here's the here's the uh, styrofoam. It's in great condition. Uh, let's open that up. Wow. Yes. Look at that. You can't tell me that isn't cool. These guns, I'm telling you, were, um, look how cool that looks. Now, it does need batteries, so here's the thing. Make sure you have batteries on you at all times because you cannot have your batteries run out in the middle of a, of a fight because obviously bad things are not going to, uh, or bad things will happen to you. So, uh, so the gun is great. It's actually, you know, I thought, I, I remember when I was a kid, I thought it was heavier, but it's still pretty sturdy, still pretty sturdy button clicks pretty nice uh here's the uh the pa uh, the the base the star base i guess is what they call this i can't remember if that's what it is um clearly no batteries in it right now i'll put those in and we'll cut to it later but so anyway so if this when this is going a little light goes uh back and forth uh very much like knight rider and it keeps track of the score so it tells you how many times you've been hit and then when you're you take that final hit it has like a like a, like a larger ring to it. So here's your holster. Uh, this is kind of like the belt that goes around and it holds the holds this in the middle somehow. Uh, I'll figure that out. Um, but uh, overall, very happy. This is in great shape. I'm gonna put some batteries in this. Actually, I may end up doing that right now. I say we just do that right now. So let's see, that's the last battery. Plug that in. Wow. So you can't really see the light all that well. Looks way cooler in the dark, trust me. In fact, why don't we give it a shot? Well, that was anti uh, anticlimactic. Uh, so anyway, so that's good to go. Uh, I don't have any batteries for this, I don't believe. Let's put in the other one, make sure the other one works. Let's, let's take a look at this box. Uh, again, same same thing. This one has the warranty card in it. That's cool. And it looks pretty good. This one does not have batteries. Let's put some batteries in. Um, there you go. Now this light works way better. This one's pretty dark. Yeah, so this one's this one's better. Um, both were great though, so I'm really happy. Now this one too, you can look through the barrel. They have a, there's a scope on this thing. Why? I don't know why not. But uh, I don't remember if I ever used the scope. It actually, I'm looking through it right now. It's not, you know, it does not help at all. But it does show you where you're where you might be hitting. So, uh, so there you go. That's laser tag. Uh, it, again, it didn't last long, but it was a really, it made a really big impact on me, my brothers, uh, and my friends back in the day. Uh, at least for a good year, it was like the hottest toy you could possibly have. And um, I know it's a little bit different than I normally do, but uh, kind of a, it's kind of a nice little thing to show you what kind of childhood I had and what kind of uh, things that I loved when I was, I guess I was around 13 at the time. Um, so what a 13 year old plays with today versus what we did when we were 13 back in night in the early you know, you know the 80s uh this was it <laughs> this was it we didn't play on phones we played laser tag man so anyway so let me know what you guys think about laser tag if you would have played it uh if you have any memories of laser tag i'd love to hear those too um and uh, we'll see you again next time i'm scott galaxy keep playing video games and go play some laser tag or just call me. Let's go play some laser tag. I'll play some laser tag. I love laser tag. I'm warning you. I'm good though. <laughs>